Okay, the first thing we're going to do today is create a Google site. So one way to create a site is to go to New from within your drive, More, and then you can see down here Google Sites. And here we are in, in the new Google Sites. Okay, this is the, the new version of Google Sites. Now the first thing we're going to do now what we want to do next is name our site and title it so let's go to the top here we're gonna call this this will also be a chemistry and what I've done right now is I've just uh, named that uh, this is the as you can see right here it says document name so this is the document name now right here we're gonna put the site name and it says chemistry site mr. a it will be the same thing and now we're gonna add a title page so let's call this Mr. A. So we'll call it Chemistry Class Mr. A. And what we're going to do next is we're going to change the background, the header, and the theme. So let's first go with the header type. You can see right here this is a banner, but I, I because it's going to be the front page, I'd like this to be large. So it looks something like this. Now let's change the background. You see where it says Change Image? We're going to select this here. And you can put your own image. However, there's a bunch to select from, so I'll press Select Image. And let's see what they have. For chemistry, um, how about we just pick this one? And that's our background. I'm actually going to change the header type one more time. Let's just go with the banner. Now, um, let's change, let's add a theme to it. So if you see over here at the, uh, at the top right corner, it says themes, and you can get a bunch of different themes. Here's Aristotle, Diplomat, um, Vision. I'm going to go with Diplomat, and you can change the font style. And go to Light. Let's go to Light. Um, we'll, make it, uh, we'll make it classic. And you can change a little bit of the color, too. But we'll keep that classic as well. So now we've changed the the theme, the background, and the header type. So next up, we're going to add pages and nest pages within sites. So if you'd like to add a page, right? We just we just have our, our basic uh, our cover page here. If you would like to add a page, you go to Pages, click this, and right down here at this plus, you're going to press New Page. So what are we going to title the page? Let's say, because uh, this is a, a classroom we're building, we'll do a syllabus. And here's a syllabus. You could take a look at it if you like. Syllabus. And home page is what we started with, which is Mr. A's class. Here's syllabus. Um, you'd like to add a couple more pages, right? So again, we're on pages. Let's go down here. Let's say um, this is a class website. Let's say you want to talk about field trips. We'll add a field trip page because it's a science class. Let's add um, a page for experiments. Experiments. So now let's say you would like to add a couple sub pages for experiments, meaning um, you would like to have different experiments over here, like elephant toothpaste, uh, titrations, uh, things like that. So you go to experiments, you press these three little dots here, and you go to add sub page and you can title the subpage. So the first experiment might might be um, elef elephant, elephant toothpaste experiment. Now notice you have a, a little um, a little arrow right here because if you expand it you can see elephant toothpaste is a part of it. Let's add another one. Add subpage. Let's say um, titrations. Done. Again, now if you look below, you have titrations. Maybe you want to add another subpage. We'll call this one acid base reactions. Acid base reactions. And here we are on acid base reactions. And you can see all these little pages that, that you created up top, right? You have syllabus that we did. Now let's let's work on one of these specific pages by adding and um, embedding uh, images and things like that. So let's go to acid base reactions, and the first thing I want to do is I want to change this header type, say title only. Okay, 
Now from here you can insert a number of, uh, a number of uh, uh, different features, right? So let's go to insert first. And let's say you want to insert a text box. And here you could just put a question. Um, between an acid and a base. And you can change the size if you like. Let's make this heading a little bit different. And you can center it. There you go. You can actually spread this thing out to a little bit. So you see here we've added some text. And if you want to go back and edit, you can always press that again. So we've inserted a text. Now let's say you'd like to um, embed a YouTube video. You can go to down here where it says Google Embeds. You go to YouTube. Look up Acid versus Base. And here you have something from Crash Course. Select. And there it is. You have it embedded into your web page. Um, you could also embed images. Let's take an image here. So now let's say you would like to insert an image. All you have to do is go up here to images. Again, you're still on insert images. And let's say you'd like to search a pH scale. You can go by URL. Probably the easiest thing to do is a search. So let's look up a pH scale. This one, I'm going to press, click it, press select. And here you have a pH scale. Now, like I said, it, it's good. You could kind of kind of maneuver it a little bit. Um, you might want to take this and, and put it up here. And now you've embedded a video, you've embedded an image, and you've added some text. Now let's say you'd like to ask you would like to embed something from your Google Drive. Maybe a doc or a slide or something like that. Um, you can go right down here to um, to Google Slides. So I'll press slides, and this is going right into my drive. And what am I going to search? I'll search acid. And here you see something about acid precipitation. So let's let's click this. Insert. And now you have a nice little slides presentation on what causes acid precipitation. Now it just it's not just uh, slides that you can insert. You can insert much more. Um, let's say you want to uh, insert a study guide. Let's go to Docs. If you're specific, if you're specifically looking for a document, um, right at the top you have Chem Chem Post Al, 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 um, Alkanes from Organic Chemistry. Press Insert, and you can always take this here, maybe move it up here. And there you are. So, so here you have your page on acid-base reactions. You've got some text. You've embedded a video, an image. You've also added a document and a slides presentation. Now, let's say you'd like to preview everything that you've done, right? Let's, let's go to the home page. Here's our home page. And let's say you want to see how everything looks like. This little eye icon right here means preview. I'm going to click this. And here's what it looks like. Okay, and it, it, it lets you know what it looks like on, on different, uh, okay, that's what it looks like on a cell phone, tablet, computer screen. Let's take a look at the tablet. Um, and here here you have your pages, right, syllabus. Now remember, there's nothing on there, but if we go down to experiments, we've got some stuff for acid-base reactions. Okay, now let's say exit. You want to exit the preview. You can also add um, collaborators here and share with others. If you'd like to invite somebody, I can press I'll do my other. I'll do my other email and can edit. So now I'm inviting this person here. Send. And now if you take a look, I have been added to who can access this. And it says here, edit file directly. Done. And lastly, let's say you want to publish your site. Simply go to the top, nice and easy. Publish. Uh, don't forget you can manage. 
which we just came from. And if you want to publish this thing, simply go down. Uh, don't forget, you can check this little box right here if you don't want it to, to come up in uh, search engines. Request it doesn't, or request it does. And then just simply press publish. And we're going through the process of publishing. Down here it says, your site has been published successfully. 